So for those of you that don't know, uh, there are Canadian wildfires. Um, and if, to put it nicely, uh, to put it, you know, sugarcoat it, uh, the Canadian fi uh, wildfires are fucking our shit up real hard, real bad. Um, and it's honestly so bad that if you live in or around the Canadian wildfires, if you live in like the northern uh, or, you know, northeastern section of the United States or in Canada itself, I know there's a couple Canadians that watch, you may be smelling smoke and burning plastic. And uh, I've got this article here from the Weather Network uh, that will explain why you may be smelling burning plastic during the wildfires. So, uh, let's read. You may have noticed by now that the smoke from this year's fire season has been more dense and potent than previous years. Some people may have also noticed recently that the smoke has transitioned from a campfire-like smell to more of a burning plastic or rubber smell. Unfortunately, neither observations are just your imaginations. In fact, some locations in Ontario will be making the list of the worst air quality in the world in the coming days. The wildfires in Canada this year, especially the fires in Quebec, have produced so much smoke that our overseas neighbors in Europe and neighbors uh, to the south have also been experiencing our hazy skies. Obviously, this is written from a Canadian perspective. Recently, many Ontarians have noticed that these smoky skies are now coming with a burnt plastic smell rather than the classic smell of burning wood that we have become accustomed to over the last few weeks. With that, there's good news and bad news. Everybody, are you ready? Put your seatbelts on. The good news is that there is not, in fact, a plastic fire burning anywhere. But the bad news is that there is is not, in fact, a plastic fire burning anywhere. Meaning that the wildfire smoke has been in the atmosphere for so long that chemistry is happening. Oh boy, everybody. <laughs> wow. But let's still debate climate change, right? Let's just debate it, go on TV and talk about, is it real? Um, maybe, uh, it's kind of like, maybe we don't really know. Uh, <laughs> keep going ultraviolet uv radiation from the sun does more than just give us sunburns it can interact with compounds already in the atmosphere to create new compounds for example ozone at the surface level or smog as it is commonly caused uh, called is caused by air pollutants such as nox gases being broken up by uv radiation the extra oxygen molecule then joins up with the free oxygen, O2, in the atmosphere to create ozone, O3. This is also why smog is the most common in large urban populations. Just after rush hours on sunny days, the level of air pollution from vehicle exhaust is highest and the sun is out to facilitate the UV interaction. Smoke from wildfires is composed of volatile organic compounds that also, you guessed it, interacts with UV radiation. The volatile organic compounds from the wildfire smoke interacts with the UV radiation to create benzene. And my personal favorite, formaldehyde. Compounds in the atmosphere. These are toxic air pollutants. They can have very adverse effects on human and animal health. And they happen to smell like burning plastic. So everybody, if you live in an area experiencing wildfire smoke and you have smelled burning plastic, now I'm going to tell you this. I was smelling burning plastic yesterday. I took a walk. I was smelling that shit. Now again, I obviously wear a mask on. Um, but you can still get a little, you know, s still a little whiff after being outside for like, you know, 45, 50 minutes. You start to smell things, you know. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I got home and uh, decided to look it up, you know, and uh, found this article and I uh, thought I would share uh, with everybody. So, and um, formaldehyde in the air. 
It's formaldehyde and benzene. I mean, shout outs to benzene. We can't forget benzene. But I need everyone to understand that you may be familiar with the term anarcho capitalism. What is anarcho capitalism? It is capitalism with no restraints. And I want everyone to understand that we are living in an anarcho-capitalist world right now. Now, there are governments. They exist. But are they really governments? Or are they just gangs? Think about it. You ever see, like, Mad Max or any of these anarcho-capitalist fever dream movies? Right? And large gangs, usually just kind of, you know, paramilitary organizations that kind of control the place. Think about it. What is the Canadian government but for a gang? I mean, they've got guns. If you disagree with them too loudly, they'll throw you in a jail cell. And they don't protect you. And the same goes for the United States. They got guns. If you even think about jaywalking... They might fucking send their guns and troops and throw you in a steel cage. If you smoke the wrong herb, you'll be thrown in a steel cage. So I'm just saying, we live currently, as of this moment, in an anarcho-capitalist society. If we had a government at all, an actual government, I'm not talking about a government in name only. I'm talking about an actual government. What is the role in, of government? What is the definition of government? To govern. An organization with the role of governing. What is governing? To control things at a large scale, such as safety, organizing, and so on and so forth. You know? If we have trains, we gotta make sure the trains don't crash into each other. We got planes, we gotta make sure the planes don't crash into each other, right? Theoretically, that's what governments are for. And yet... Why are they failing us? Remember the pandemic? And then the government just said, Hi, I'm Joe Biden. Hi, I'm Trudeau. I forgot his first name. The pandemic's over, guys. The virus still here. It's even more dangerous. It's even more lethal. But eh, we're going to press a button and pretend the pandemic's over. And dummies listen to them. The sheep listened to them. The drones listened to them. They took their mask off. They threw it in the garbage. Who needs a mask? I went for a walk yesterday. Nobody. I saw dozens of pedestrians walking around. No one had a mask on. Zero percent of the people I saw. Like, you can see the smoke, motherfuckers. You can see. I get it. You can't see COVID. It's real. It'll fuck you up. But I get it. You can't see it. You can see the smoke. And people are still too fucking stupid to wear masks. So I say this. Get a heaping helping. Take a deep breath. Breathe in the benzene. Breathe in the formaldehyde. Become a real man. See how that goes? I say better sooner than later that you get your heaping helping of formaldehyde. That's my opinion. Humans are dumb. They're dumb. We need to understand this now. Like, there is no question about it. The facts are in. The jury is in. The decision has been made. It's a matter of fact that we are living in a society where the floor of stupid motherfuckers on a percentage scale is 90%. That is the floor. Now, I'm willing to debate whether or not it's 95%, 93% dumb motherfuckers, useless garbage, Neanderthals, uncivilized NPCs, whatever you want to call them. All of the above, if you will. But I think the floor for any reasonable person out there, and if you're unreasonable... Obviously, what, 90% of people are dumb? Well, last year so... Yeah, I get it. Yeah, anyone who thinks it's less than 90%, I see where you're coming from, buddy. But we can debate. 97% stupid motherfuckers, 99% stupid motherfuckers, 92 We can debate this. But at this point, the facts are in. It's over on the human species. It's done. We're gone. 
Civilization, gone. It's over. Now again, things don't crumble overnight. This isn't a movie where, like, things are just gonna, like, there's gonna be some, like, one single disastrous event, like a hurricane that destroys the whole world or something. That's not gonna happen. It's gonna be a slow, steady crumble. And that's what we're dealing with. And no one does anything about it. People are riding their bikes with no mask on. Breathing in formaldehyde and COVID. How can you explain that? Other than they're just fucking stupid. They're, they're, I need you to understand. Why would someone ride a bike? Well, I got to exercise. I got to be healthy. So... You're going to exercise, which I'm exercise at home. How about that? With the windows closed? Hey, out of the box thinking. But these motherfuckers are so stupid. They think I'm going to do something for my health by accelerating my heart rate and my breath rate and breathing in formaldehyde, benzene, and wildfire smoke and viruses for my health. What is this motherfucking shit? Rules, rules, dude? Like, are you, is this a joke? Is this a goddamn motherfucking, like, comedy show? For your health. Jesus fucking Christ. Exhibit B. Wastewater sampling in Canada suggests COVID case rate 19 times higher than reported. You ever see these dumb shit for brains, cocksucking motherfucking shithole motherfuckers going out there? The pandemic's over, bro! <laughs> it's over. Like, look at the numbers, man. It's like, <laughs> the pandemic's over. I mean, look at the numbers. <laughs> so you're telling me that when we stop testing, numbers go down? Whoa. So if I have nine apples and I'm counting them, one, two, three, and I decide to stop counting, oh, I have three apples. Now there's six more on the table. They're right there, but I just decided to stop counting. Now does that mean there's only three apples? <laughs> but again, we live in a world where the floor, at least, minimum, minimum, 90% of Americans, Canadians, human beings at all, are fucking stupid. They are dumb, unconscious, sleepwalking, drones, zombies, sheep, whatever synonym makes you happy. They're plugged into the matrix, they took the blue pill, whatever you want to, you know, whatever helps you understand the situation. I need you all to understand this for your own benefit. I am here to tell you for your own benefit. I need you. I need you to fundamentally, I need you to have the gears turn and click into place. Everyone around you is a fucking fool. Now there's, again, I'm not saying literally every single human. There's obviously exceptions, right? There are people that are fighting back against the declaration of victory on this pandemic, the fake declaration of victory, the George Orwell's nightmare declaration of victory. Let's pretend we won and hope everyone believes us. And they did because they're dumb. They're dumb. They're dummies. They're dumb fuck morons. This is something that really blows my mind. If you ask the average American or Canadian or person how they view mainstream media, media and the government. You ever look at these polls? This is why I'm starting to get to the point where I don't believe in polls anymore, right? Because you ever see these polls, Congress, 17% approval rating, right? The Supreme Court, 19% approval rating. Government in general, 20% approval rating. You ever see these polls? Mainstream news, 10% approval rating. People will say on the phone, a postal, poster will ask them, hey, how do you feel about mainstream news? I think they lie to us. 
I don't trust them. But when the mainstream news tells them the pandemic's over, oh, certainly. You certainly have my best of dissonance is popular with the American zombies, but tell me, if you really don't trust mainstream news, and mainstream news is telling you the pandemic's over, and you threw out your mask, maybe you're not as much of a free thinker as you like to think you are. Americans are so fucking stupid, and I haven't even gotten into this article yet, just bear with me. Americans are so fucking stupid, they simultaneously say, I don't believe the government's lies. But they march in lockstep with all the government's lies anyway. What? Is that a joke? So you think Joe Biden's a liar, but when he says the pandemic's over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the pandemic's over. Let's go to Taylor Swift concerts. <laughs> really? Hmm, interesting. At the peak of SARS-CoV-2 Omicron variant wave in Ontario, Canada, wastewater sampling conducted before the surge suggested that COVID-19 cases were 19 times higher than reported because of changes in clinical testing. Wow! So they stopped counting and the numbers go down. Woo! Like, I need, I really, the mainstream media, which in the United States about, if you ask someone, about 10% of people go, yeah, I trust mainstream media. So 90% of Americans, they will tell you, I don't trust mainstream media. I think they're up to no good. But when mainstream media put out the lie that the Omicron variant is mild. Do you remember this? It was like two years ago now. It's mild. Guys, it's mild. Remember this? How the... It's mild? Where did that come from? Who? Where did... Does anyone remember? It's mild. Oh, yeah, it's mild. Mild. Yeah, no, don't worry. Get sick. Go to work. It's mild. If anyone remembers very well, which I do, what happened the week before? Right? So mainstream media's push, it's mild, it's mild, it's mild. What happened if you rewind the tape another week? The CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States, had a meeting with the CEOs of major airlines and then decided to cut the resting period from 10 days. If you get sick, you should isolate for 10 days to 5 days. And then the mild conspiracy theory magically popped out of nowhere. Really? So you don't trust mainstream media, but when mainstream media tells you something you want to hear, you clap like a seal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's mild. Uh -huh. Why are you so concerned? Uh -huh. It's mild. Uh -huh. Let's go to Taylor Swift concerts. Let's go to restaurants. It's mild. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the average American. The same one that doesn't trust mainstream media. Dumb motherfuckers. Also, everybody, it's Max the dog. Americans are so full of contradictions that they're barely even real people. They're zombies. They're sleepwalking. They're not awake. Really? You don't believe in main... Oh, they're always lying to us. Except for when they tell me something I already want to believe, right? Where's the left in this country? DSA. Remember DSA? Does anyone remember that? Anyone remember the whole AOC thing? Remember the squad? Remember all that shit? And it's like, wow, they're going to change America. Remember this shit, man? Remember? Does anyone remember that? Where are they? Where's Bernie Sanders, man? Where is he? Now, hey, Bernie will wear a mask in the Senate. That's great. But where are they? DSA chapters all across the country are kicking disabled people out of their organizations. 
If you look into DSA chapters, almost every single one of them, there's a couple of exceptions and shout outs to them. But almost every single DSA chapter decided, eh, masks optional. And if you don't like it, eh, we're going to kick you out. That's almost every DSA chapter in the country. Now, there are some exceptions in some areas, and shout outs to them. So, our most prominent left wing organization in the country, Democratic Socialists of America, are jumping on the neo Nazi train. What is National Socialism? Think about it. Fundamentally, what did the Nazis believe? Socialism for me and my people and fuck everyone else. We're going to kill everyone else, take all their shit, and then the master race is going to live in uh, luxury. That's the Nazi mindset. So think about it. What is the difference between a so-called left-winger who says, oh, you're disabled? Well, you don't belong here. In fact, I don't even care about you. In fact, I'm going to fight for policies to get you killed. And a Nazi. What's the difference? Think about it. I'm just asking you. Think about it. What is the difference? The difference is the DSA person, this character that I'm describing, has a couple more groups. Right? Nazis, they really only liked one specific kind of person. The DSA kind of Nazi is like, well, as long as you're able-bodied, you're allowed to live. If you're able-bodied, everything is fine. But if you're disabled... Hey, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's what DSA has to say to disabled people. If you're immunocompromised, fuck you. Fuck you. I hope you die, bitch. That's what DSA has to say to people like us. Because they don't give a fuck. There's no left wing in this country. There's no left wing organization. None of them. None of them. They don't exist. It's a fairy tale. It's a magical fucking goddamn fucking act. Oh, look at us. We're left. You ever see these self-proclaimed communist LARPers live action role play? LARPers going on? You ever see this shit? These people that claim to be communists. Oh, we're Marxists. We're Marxist-Leninists. These stupid fucking college kids who read one book and then they think they're cool because they wear a certain kind of t-shirt. Talking about, oh, you're disabled? You want to wear a mask during a pandemic, during a wildfire smoke epidemic? Eh. I don't, I'm saying this for your own good. This is a protection mindset that I want to instill in you. Humanity is over. Now, I don't want to sit here and be an end of days person. When I started my show four years ago or whatever, I didn't think I would turn into the end is near kind of motherfucker. But I'm telling you right now, motherfucker, the end is goddamn near. This shit is fucked. Now, this is a Canadian study, 19 times higher than reported. In Canada, they have better reporting metrics for COVID than the United States. In the United States, half of the country stopped reporting COVID altogether. A lot of Republican states, they just gave up. If you have COVID, eh. Now, I ask you, if you've ever gotten COVID, have you gotten a test and registered that test with the government? Did you go, oh, I'm going to buy a test with money that I don't have. Then I'm going to test positive, And instead of freaking out and crying myself to sleep, I'm going to go on the government's website, log in, and, and log my results so that the numbers are accurate. How many people do you know that, now again, getting tested. How many people would even get tested, right? But how many people do you know who would get tested and then register their result with the government? So when people tell you, when Joe Biden tells you, oh, the pandemic's over, bro, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers, bro. It's over. It's gone. What? Climate change, man. It's over. It's done. What do you mean climate change? Yo, it just snowed the other day. Climate change, shmima change. There's no such thing, man. It snowed yesterday. Remember that motherfucker in the Senate? Who brought in the snowball? Look, there's a snowball in my hands, motherfucker. The climate ain't changing. What are you, crazy? But hey, maybe God will save us, right? 